I'm Amy Holmes and today on The Hot List, we take a look at a controversial subject, corporal punishment. Kansas State Legislator Gail Finney introduced a bill to define spanking that she said would, quote, restore parental rights. The Wichita Democrats' proposal would allow parents and teachers with parental approval to administer 10 open-handed swats on a child's clothed bottom and use, quote, reasonable physical force to restrain a child during a spanking, acknowledging that redness or bruising may occur. While nearly every state in the union allows parents to use corporal punishment, Kansas is one of only 19 states that allows physical discipline at school. And while Ms. Finney's proposal was shot down by the Kansas House Committee, it definitely stirred controversy nationwide. The American Academy of Pediatrics is strongly opposed to corporal punishment, and back in 2012, Delaware passed a law that effectively bans parents from spanking their children by defining child abuse to include any act that inflicts physical pain. Parents found guilty in Delaware could face up to a year in jail. Meanwhile, a September Harris survey finds that 81% of those polled think that physical discipline by parents is sometimes appropriate, and 86% of Americans were spanked as kids. Just a week ago, Washington Wizards basketball player Garrett Temple weighed in on the spanking debate, tweeting, quote, Question, how do y'all feel about whipping, spanking your kids? Is it bad, okay, necessary? He went on to tweet, quote, I personally think it's necessary. So what do you think, hot listers? Is spanking okay, even if it leaves red marks or bruising? Should schools still be allowed to dole out corporal punishment with parental permission? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll be reading them. I'm Amy Holmes reporting to you from the Blaze Newsroom in New York City.